if you know the mid credit scene of the Eternals movie, you know that the pictures I place in the cover is not necessarily in the movie. However, it vaguely gives us a hint of what is to come in the MCU. Hey, it's Lee. So welcome back to my channel. So spoiler alert, okay? We will now go deep into the possibilities and ramifications of the Eternals mid credit scene in the movie, okay? So sit back, relax, and if you haven't watched the movie, don't watch this. Unless it's okay for you to be spoiled like me. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so even before the Eternals came out, during the preview, a writer from Variety already tweeted that Harry Styles appears as Eros or Star Fox. Eros in Greek and Cupid in Roman mythology is the god of love. So that already gives you an idea what type of um, eternal he is or what kind of power he has. So basically, Eros or Star Fox later on when he joins the adventure is the brother of Thanos, second son of Alars. Alars, who is the brother of Zeros, and who happens to be father of Thena. So yes, Star Fox and Thena are first cousins, if you may. And uh, yes, Thanos is an Eternal like Eros and the rest of the Eternals. However, Thanos has a different dream. Okay, so now in the mid credit scene, Star Fox says he will help the remaining Eternals in the Doma to look for their friends, all right, who happens to be um, captured or um, removed from Earth by Arashem the Judge. He will be helping the Eternals. So he produces this uh, golden sphere. It's similar to the golden sphere from Ajax when she communicates with the Eternals as well as uh, later on Cersei, right? Usually it's the Prime Eternal who has that. So that cosmic zoom link uh, appeared on Eris's hand so now usually it's only the prime eternal that has that so so the my first question is okay why does star fox have that golden sphere right who gave it to him so or in, i thought before everyone in titan died according to thanos right or was star fox spared because both thanos and star fox are part of a bigger cosmic rebellion of celestials against the no hard stick to the role Arashem the judge and his cohorts maybe or was um thanos and star fox chosen by the aspirants to stop the celestials egg making and just thing uh, procreation style uh, in connection with the aspirants maybe what i could see is celestials in the comics wherein the reason why celestials created the eternals they have to destroy the deviants um was too much for them so in the same light since the aspirants created the celestials they felt that arisham and his band of brothers are too much having their own way so in connection with that uh, the rebellious celestials are probably aspirants could have d done something like what um what Cronus's children did to him or like what zeus did to Cronus, right wherein he was the one who defeated Cronus. But in this instance, it's Thanos who made sure that the emergence um, stopped or at least delayed. Or I don't know. So it gives me the idea that probably he was puppeted by a higher form. Okay. And another thing, if, if you would see how Star Fox revealed the Golden Sphere, he was calm. And collected as if someone's backing him up and he's not scared of talking to the celestials now uh, go, going back to the cosmic rebellion maybe there are other eternals who got out that who got out of that celestial spell or programming if you will and want to go against Arisham and the other celestial and his celestial cohorts now if we think bigger aside from the aspirants there's the living tribunal and it 
exists in the MCU. So, okay, while we cannot really count the deleted scenes from Infinity War, wherein Doctor Strange brought Thanos to the mirror dimension, wherein he uh, produced some illusion, wherein he is being tried, uh, tried by the Living Tribunal, nor um, we can could we count the stuff that Mordor has during the Doctor Strange movie wherein he says like, oh, this is the staff of the Living Tribunal. You know, it's like meh for me. Okay, we have seen the Living Tribunal, well, at least a tease of it at, in the Loki series with the Void wherein there's this sculpture, well, the head sculpture of the Living Tribunal uh, in the Void. So we know that the Living Tribunal exists in the MCU. So... Knowing that Arisham didn't just destroy the Earth, he even wants to validate it first through um, through looking at Cersei and uh, Fastos as well as Kingo's memories. All right, so it's like a legal transcript for him. So before he can judge uh, the Earth, maybe he is bounded by a cosmic law. Uh, written or presided by the court of the living tribunal so again that those are just the possibilities of it for this mid credit scene that's my thoughts so there could be like a cosmic rebellion happening between celestials or even aspirants coming into the mcu you never know right so i mean the mcu is getting bigger and bigger this is part two so hopefully you would see part three and i will be talking about the post credit scene okay see you in the next video